Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be using this um, April Flowers color palette collection to create a really easy and really simple little um, spring pattern, leaf pattern, and we're also going to be using um, a style from my Instagram collection. And if you're an All Access member, um, you'll have access to all of these products so you can follow along with me. So first of all, um, I'm going to take my color picker and I'm going to pick this really faint little yellow greeny color here and I've got a new um, document open 1200 by 1200 it can be whatever size you want but this is kind of my default um, uh, one of my default sizes so I'm just going to take my paint bucket and paint that in so I've got the background and now I'm going to um, I'm actually going to use one of my brushes from my uh, Undersea Dreams collection because actually, even though it's like seaweed, um, one of them, yeah, I think that should be it. Uh, so some of them look like leaves anyway. So let me just check here. That, that's good. What was the difference? Oh, yeah, that's got the color variation. All right, so I'm going to take the Undersea Dreams brush number 22, which looks like that. Um, except I'm going to use my uh, pattern stamp tool. And most of you are familiar with my pattern stamp brushes um, and using the color mixing uh, with the pattern stamp brushes. But if you're not, you can check out that on one of my other playlists. Let's go back here and I'm selecting brush number 22. And then I've got my color palettes loaded, my color blender color palettes from this collection loaded. And I'm going to use um, one of these greens. Let me try 24. No, that's a little too crazy. 18, no. Let's go through here. I forget which color palette I was using. Mm, that's good. Okay. So it's number 23. So just to recap, pattern stamp tool, undersea brush 22 color palette number 23 and I'm just gonna go like this up and then back down and fill my background but leaving some space in between there and I'm holding my shift key as I pull this down to keep a straight line that looks good I won't worry about making it perfect because it's just the demo, but you'll get the idea. And then I'm going down. And this is one fun thing to use the pattern stamp tool. Most of the time, you know, you're familiar with my brushes. I have the color blender, but when I'm using these like with the pattern stamp, it's it's nice because every other you've got that variation in the colors of the stamp. So, it looks pretty cool. So, that's easy enough and that's pretty cool. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer and I am going to, let's see here, let's, I'm going to hold down my shift key and click my right arrow and I'm going to move this over one, over and fill in those gaps. So I'm not going to redraw it or anything. And I'm going to move that layer down below the other layer. And then I'm going to apply one of my Instaglam styles. And as most of you guys know, I have my styles, I have some of them loaded into my styles panel, but I like to keep my Instaglam styles in my style in my um, Creative Cloud Library. So I'm gonna go through the Pinstripes collection and see one that I like. So I'm gonna, that's actually quite cool. Number five. Um, eight, nine. I like number nine. That's pretty subtle. So I'm going to leave it with pinstripes number nine. And that was it. So as you can see, it's really easy. I used one brush, one of my color palette collections, and a style. And I just made a really cool background. You could turn this into a pattern, a digital paper, use it as a background for one of your templates, what have you. But that's it. Um, super easy and if you have a question just write it down below in the comments.